Hey there guys, good morning from Thaka Bangladesh. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a couple of videos, all right? A uh, couple of videos going to include one list and perhaps one watch video. I was doing this uh, yesterday. I was doing one video about uh, three of the watches I put. Uh, it's not a fragrance. It's not a watch channel. I just uh, show out of hobby once in a while. I did show uh, three uh, Chinese brand watches called Poitigar or something like that. Uh, they are inspired by PRX. Uh, so I have one more watch line that I said I have from Casio, which is this one. Okay, so this little little watches. It's inspired by uh, the Tissot PRX. So I'll talk about these. I have three, uh, and then I have a couple of other watches. I'll talk about that. If you're interested, you can watch that. I'm not doing this for view. I'm just doing it just to share my love and passion about watches. I don't have. Someone said you should sell seventy percent of your fragrance, then you can afford a Rolex. You know, we are all about preferences and you know, like priorities. For me, if I sell all my fragrance, I can buy a nice car. I know that, but I rather have my fragrance. You know what I mean? So the ten fragrance I'm going to show you mostly are good for summer, and these are casual ten, easy wear, everyday fragrance, except maybe a couple. Some are a little bit more expensive, but uh, you know, I find them easy to wear so different price range for different fragrances here by the way first fragrance i will say classic i'll start with three classics one of them is david of cool water the classic one yes this is not the most beast mode from the line some of the downsides it's already been used by so many people so it's very known dna it's been like in the market for so many years but i still find this fragrance somewhat the good thing about it it's like nostalgia you know like you think of good days your memories weekends you know when you start just one tv channel and you just watch movies in the weekends this is the fragrance and i think this is not a sexy or compliment beast kind of fragrance but people often you know they smell you and they know that you're wearing this cool water dna which is very nice this has been copied by many companies and some people say it's uh, a dupe of uh, git green Irish tweet but i find this fragrance way superior to that perfume it's just my nose but you know I, my preference wise cool water is a very nice bottle i have a lot of reviews on this cool water definitely is everyday casual usage especially on weekends second one let's go uh, the most uh, viral fragrance is ck1 this perfume is not a perfume this is emotion in a bottle it has been reformulated i did have a vintage batch i had special uh limited edition so i know how the old batches smell i get different things from this different times i get tropical fruits a lot of citruses a lot of florals and then musk but there's tons of notes in there people even say there's a oud or something in there i never get that but this is a very nice simple uh you know go to a resort like in maldives and you just like find your fragrance randomly in the corner which never happens but you know in the flight or somewhere they give you a miniature it's a very nice kind of a edc sort of a fashion fragrance which is longevity is about two to three hours max but this fragrance is good for summer casual day out day in, uh you know uh, day in day out and then you can wear this like for both genders it's a good fragrance ck1 it's a classic fragrance citrus aromatic perfume and i think this fragrance is very much classic like aqua di gio dolce and gabbana light blue oh intense or sorry just dolce and gabbana light blue but much cheaper than those by the way i'm wearing this one in the morning oh i hope don't drop the bottle uh, this is one of my other uh, fragrances that i i'm sorry my this finger is totally useless i cannot find <laughs> there's no sensation here in this finger because this whole thing will come off so i'm using like this three okay so versace menu fresh is very hot and humid nowadays it rained last night but mostly it's still summer and very heat uh, high heat so this kind of weather that fragrance are very nice like i overspray that like 16 17 sprays that's my scent of the morning third one i'm going to show you is a little bit on the stronger side use less less is more with this daniel desire red and the classic i started with three classics this is the other one this is one of my first fragrances when i started my journey and i feel this fragrance is part of my life and a lot of memories you know i don't care if it's cheap i don't care if it's just downhill perfume so many of you be like you know bro this fragrance is now you know it's a very cheap perfume but you know what you used for first few days man i feel useless with my hand you know because i'm traumatized you know i and i don't want to keep talking about it but and this one brings back so many memories it's literally like could be a cousin of one million it has the sweetness amber leather and a lot of like synthetic fruitiness it's very sweet very sweet very lovable even in summer it works but in winter i spray three four times i enjoy it like a beast mode summertime two sprays is good enough if you stay in the ac stay outdoors this fragrance doesn't die you know very good perfume daniel desire red a classic for me so first three classics are definitely my uh, nostalgic perfumes let's go next one next one is not a 
very old perfume somewhere in 2017 or 18 this one appeared from the house of rasasi this is poor louis zebra some of you know this fragrance as a dupe of what is it aventus right and they have another one that is a dupe of savage and the other one is jubilation 25 so all three are great releases but two things remember some people say reformulation kill this fragrance uh, and another one is a small 50 ml bottle cost 45 35 bucks so that is not cheap for 50 ml that translates to 80 dollars which is not cheap so you can get much cheaper alternative to aventus at a much better price yeah this is perhaps not the best value proposition but two solutions i have for you one thing is you have to let it sit in your collection which is a painful process every fragrance gets stronger over time more or less or they go bad this is my experience and the second thing is i would say uh, try the fragrance see the i mean the blend of this perfume it is much better than many other synthetic i think this is a better great fragrance than mont blanc explorer which is hugely hyped and rather than buying that for 65 bucks i think this one is a better value because this one lasts longer than mont blanc explorer which is over high fragrance in my humble opinion it's just out of nowhere mont blanc explorer anyway so, so zebra definitely is a good release but it's not a must have you can wear this day in day out for work very nice sophisticated aventus dna next one is a fragrance nobody talks about i love ck defy edp there are three versions of it ck defy ck defy edp and then the parfum i think there's a new one perhaps but this dna i saw this perfume when it was out i was a bit shocked why this fragrance Burberry's hero are so expensive someone asked me 120 dollars for Burberry's hero and you guys want me to review that for 120 bucks you think i'm gonna buy a Burberry? no <laughs> i love that house but it's not worth that money you can get these for much cheaper price tag burberry's we're used to paying 35 bucks but if you're less within 40 dollars i would buy the burberry but this one it was at first 65 85 dollars for retail so cheaper you get like 60 dollars i wouldn't do that but one time i found it under 40 42 43 i got it so this one and the puffer both are beautiful majestic beauties this one you if you love uh, shower gel vibe again that dylan blue savage like this is in that territory, but better performer than your Sauvage any day. It's more creamy and it's more prominent. I really think this fragrance can be your go-to guy or one fragrance can, you know, like do everything for you. You can get a big bottle, 150 mil. That will be better value. CK, Defy, EDP. Great, great fragrance. So uh, next one, I'm going to go uh, number five is a discontinued fragrance. Hunt it down if you can. This fragrance can be a bit spotty in longevity sometimes but sometimes i get good performance depending on the weather bulgari's man uh, extreme okay extreme this fragrance is a flanker to bulgari's man line and i love almost all of them like most of them they are so good uh, they are at least now 10 or 11. i do not like glacial essence rain essence seem like a more of a hype than anything else but yeah maybe in future i'll buy their fragrance again but they're like wood essence neroli essence uh, men in black uh, some of them are discontinued all blacks edition black cologne i have reviewed almost everything so this one also have all blacks edition i don't know if this is different than performance wise uh, but that is so expensive this thing also is expensive now over 100 dollars now but if you find this over like somewhere 55 65 bucks uh, you should try it because it's a cactus note lemony citrus bit of woody backbone and it's very soothing and cooling fragrance I find it similar to somewhat like uh, what this one does. I also get from Versace Manufresh, just now wearing that, but it's a little bit different. It is unique in a certain way. That's why I'm suggesting this very easy. This fragrance, I think Eric Bana was faced for it. Absolutely loved that actor. I loved him in Troy, you know, he played Hector. So I love Hector more than Achilles. <laughs> I found it, we read the book like in childhood story, uh, childhood, we read the story that uh, there's a fight and i did not like achilles at all i felt like he was the villain but anyway so this fragrance is so good it is great classic office wear back in the days for men if you ask the older og reviewers they will tell you number four is a little bit of an expensive fragrance which lasted more but easy to pull you really have to like this dna to spend this much money this is prada luna rosa ocean so this is the one i would say similar to other blue fragrances but this one has a classy vibe like a soapy vibe it's like a blue soap and it does have the ocean feel kind of like arctic cool vibe but the price point is very high as like other pradas it's like 80 85 bucks so if you can find an 80 80 dollars it's a good value but i used to have the edp edp was really really nice but 
I think there's a red one out. I have to try that, but I like the way this smells. Okay, it's like better than Polo in longevity, but uh, it could be a bit more potent. But I think if you stay in the AC room, it's good for good four to five hours. Fresh and clean everyday scent, Prada Luna Rosa Ocean. Number three is going to be the most controversial here because this fragrance is not a summer perfume. I would say this is a take on Tom Ford Oud Wood, uh, Chris Royal Oud, and also Versace Oud Noir, if you like this DNA. And this is a very beautiful fragrance from House of Armov. This is unique, and I think it's called Oud Forever. It's EDP concentration, and look at that bottle. If you haven't seen my review, this is a stunning little bottle. Okay, and I got this fragrance and the red one. Uh, both are amazing. This is a new release, no review anywhere, but till now, okay, till now, uh, I think so far one of the best uh, wearable oud, citrus, like easy cedar kind of oud. It is a fresh, spicy, woody fragrance, which I find it definitely better than uh, oud wood in terms of longevity. These things, I think, cost $40, $45 tops. I don't know in your area, but around that 40 45 bucks this is a great little perfume and it is very polished this is the next level of arm off do not look down upon on this because it's just arm off i am putting this so high up in the order because this is a great fragrance i think wearable oud for any kind of weather i get excellent push seven eight hours oud forever by arm off number two and number one number two is kenzo marin once again back in the rotation only thing i don't like about these bottles are these caps are so not nice snug fit you know like if you do a little bit twist it comes off like that so let's say you're trying to you know these things matter if you're a collector uh, so if you try to pick it up from the collection like this kind of collection the cap will come off it will fall and break apart from that is very very nice so great thing about marine is this is a such a high class high profile for me uh summer fragrance this one beats bulgari aquamarine in terms of smell and performance this is the modern bulgari aquamarine like that Okay, and you get that watery, aquatic, not much of spice. You get a little bit of Ganymede. Imagine Ganymede had a summer version. This is Ganymede uh, slash Aquamarine. And such a great, great perfume. I want to get the new flanker too, but uh, great everyday wear with great, great push. Bull, uh, Kenzo Home Marine. So number one today is going to be the most uh, expensive and overpriced fragrance. Uh, if this was a, like, in a designer bottle i would pay hundred dollars for it but not more but i still love it you know like it gets so much bashing from niche uh, lovers or niche reviewers uh, this is pdm greenly uh, the reason for me to love this is uh, the way this smells i have literally like many other fragrances like that dkny be delicious the green apple and then dolce and gabbana light blue for women if you sort of layer those two you get kind of like feel like this but there's no fragrance which has this refinement the green apple the shampoo vibe the citrus is lemon i just love the way this smells this is feels like this feels like literally you are taking a shower in a hot summer's day for hours and it's you're showering in uh like green apple juice or the shampoo is the fruit you just want to just stay there it's so refreshing it does last but you get nose blind to it uh when you're wearing other people can detect it great longevity by the way i used to have sedley i used to have uh, galloway i have to buy and then there's one more uh percival i think yeah percival is also good but this is my number one from pdm when it comes to summer perfumes so do let me know what are the fragrance you wear you don't have to buy the expensive ones you can get easily like if you can get something like undesired you can wear it every day but some people don't mind wearing niche perfume in the gym because it's their choice have a nice day thanks for watching and i'll see you soon Bye bye